Okay, today is, wake up phone. Today is that right there, okay? And then this is, I'm gonna go live in Facebook unboxing this, so I'm showing you that text. And then I'm gonna say, done on this. I'm gonna move this camera back down over here. Uh, oh, go the other way, okay. I'm starting this one first, so there's the box. All right, so now, and hit done and start live video. Okay, so, okay, we're live again. This is a twofer. We get to do another one here, so I'm just showing you. Here's <laughs> that camera, and we, we anyway, shot up anyway, so. Doing that, all right. So that's that one there, and then this camera here is the backup for that. And then, so now we're gonna unbox, unbox this one right here. This one has a wider, wider field of view, but we're gonna move this over to about there. Okay. So uh, I shot the first video with the Moto, and I'm shooting the second video with the S7 versus the other camera there. So now that I've gone through all that minutia, uh, what I want to see here, wait. Um, gosh darn it. Uh, let me look up here in this camera again, see what I can see. Okay, so you can see all that behind that. And on this camera here, you can, well, that's good enough. Okay, all right, so to prove I have power, and I just unboxed this Panasonic RX 5100F, and I have my cassette in here. And so if I hit play, so play works. And then if I found that if I played with the FM switch on the back here, I was able to get the FM radio to work. So there's an FM radio. Storage space, right? And of course, if you put your hand next to the antenna, the sound gets better. So can you get here? We work until midnight. Seven like that, and these are the So it needs a lot of cleaning, but anyway, that's just here to prove that I've got good power. So when I go to open this up and put power to it, all right. And this one here is, you know, it's, it's uh, it should be packed pretty well. And uh, opening it from this side, so I can surprise everybody because nobody expects you to open it from the bottom. But anyway. Or something like that. I don't want to show off the uh, address to from, you know, the drill, standard drill. Okay. All right, so, just like that, like this. this and this was labeled as a, uh, a vintage Ghetto Blaster boombox keyboard. And this is a silver model. I had a black one a long time ago. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Very good. So it's <laughs> packed barely, but it survived. It's in one piece, so that's really nice. Minimal of packing, but hey, it survived. So that's all I'm interested in there. Yeehaw! Oh yeah, look at that. Just <laughs> not so much too much packing, but it's in a nice sturdy box, like a double wall box. Okay, so. That's nice, so now we just got to go through the taking off of the this stuff here. All right, so this stuff here, okay. And now, it didn't, you know, it didn't put much of a description in the, in the video, but, uh, I mean, in the listing, but it uh, came across in the listing as being very nice as we're seeing already. And uh, I had one of these a long time ago and I rebelted it and I sold it. Now I kind of regretted it because it was a very nice unit that I had. Now this one's a very nice unit looking like. Oh my gosh. Minimal scratches. All the buttons, knobs, and hoo-ha are there. All right. Okay, so. There's that, and then, uh, let's see, I can't remember, it's, anyway, I'm not going to do that, I just want to get this apart, plug the speakers up and play it. So it takes a standard plug, we're not even concerned about that, 
Next time, for what it's worth, you can put the battery, the power cord in the battery compartment, but you didn't know that, but that's all right. Okay, great. So there's that. And then here is... Well, you put the speakers together, but when you, when you package safe like this, you need to put bubble wrap between the speakers, all right, so they don't bang or dent one another in the faces. And preferably when I, when I send stuff like this, I like to put the speakers to the outside, but the speakers are still pristine. And this is, in my opinion, a, so, all right, so no damage. That's good. Very nice condition. Feet are there. All right. Then this one is. Let's see here. All right, good. So that again. This is uh, no dents, no dings, pristine. You know, it's got minimal, if any, just you know, tiny little whatever. So now this one plugs into that like that. And then this one plugs into here. So, great. And then I can put that on there. So is this? Okay. That's how it does it. All right. So that, so put the handle down. down, pick it up, locks the speakers in place, give me my standard plug, and uh, volume down, and plug it in there. Let's see what happens. So now, it should work. So once we turn it on, right, there's my cassette. Here's my cassette in here. All right, so now, look at yeah, it's got power, it's got a power light, so how do we turn this on? Power? Power was on, okay. Power on. Um, radio. And we need uh, FM. <laughs> We're not making this up. <laughs> Light right there. So. What I saw. And have himself quite a game in relief of Brian Hoyer, who started the game for the New England Patriots. 14 of 19 for 193 yards and a touchdown. Showed pretty, pretty, pretty good mobility. There was one play in particular. He's a right-handed quarterback. Right, he had a so. pass rusher chasing him from behind. Did a little spin move. Ran around him. I know the radio works. It's got some, you know, scratchiness in there. That can be cleaned up with deoxid and such. Now let's check out the all-important cassette deck. So, stop eject. Nice and slow. All right, so now that we have it open, let's see here. Let's see, fast. Okay, so it's... Hey, we got noise. Nothing's turning, just motor noise. Motor noise. Motor noise. Okay, so it needs new belts. Won't hear in play, but the motor is running. Let me turn the volume down from that. Turn off the radio. This this be tape? So again. Hear that? Hear that? And you hear that. Okay, so it needs a new set of belts. Like I said, I rebuilt it before. I made a bunch of videos. I made like three or four or five videos about this, rebuilting it individually and so on and so forth. But now let's try out the keyboard. How do you turn that on? Let's see here. So tape, keyboard. So the keyboard should be on, right? So, so keyboard should be on. It's there. It's It's got power. This is the part where I don't remember how to work all this. Um, hmm. Well. Okay, 
so play. Oh, there we go. All right. So we've got it in play. You can turn it off. You can put it in play. You can put it in record. And you got MT. I don't know what MT is, but so if you're a work and then we got all these minutia of other buttons here all right so yeah so this is very nice it works very well I'll have to relearn how to play the piano and all these buttons here so I'll take the camera off you take each one off and turn let's see I started the major camera first so I'll take that one off first all right so set deck doesn't work okay don't cramp. All right, so that, this, this. Can I zoom in with this one while I'm here? No, it won't zoom. It just does the volume. Okay, well, all right. Okay, so let me give you the up-close and personal view of this. If you've never seen one before. Okay, so it <laughs> looks like that there. Okay, so that and then this here, okay, and then just all these buttons, right, all those buttons there, and then in the front, we lift it up, it locks the thing in place, so it's got that there, and uh, let's see here, okay, so the pause is just, that's it, and then we have all of those connections there, you know, your metal tape, Dolby, mono stereo, your saved load, I guess that's for the keyboard. Your tape, keyboard button, your radio, your line in. Yeah, line in people. Then you got, you know, FM, shortwave one and two, and medium wave, which is also amplitude modulation. Over here you have your power button, your mic mixing. Here's your mixing mic, headphone jack, and then keyboard. And why is that there? That's so you can, because the keyboard is here. The keyboard, let's see, here's your, okay, here's your line in, line in and out, and your external microphones, okay, so you can do your external microphones there in stereo. It has world voltage, okay, it is a, uh, that's nothing, where's the, okay, here's the, there is the, there is the model number stuff, okay, and this is a silver model, so it's, in my opinion, better, prettier. And then lastly, lastly, I can't remember exactly how this works. So I'm going to put you up on the tripod here and show you, I think, how it goes. All right, so that, all right, so that's fine. All right, so I believe these buttons, yeah, that's right. These little buttons here on the side, okay, let me show you that to you, okay. These little buttons right here, right here, you press that and then you can lift up and release the, uh, the keyboard. Now the keyboard has a, uh, your line in MT, I don't know what MT stands for, but here's your line out uh, deals, okay? This takes five, uh, it's got five double, got five. Well, the batteries haven't corroded, but we're going to take those out of there soon. Uh, it has five batteries in there. Uh, here, let me... I don't know if you can see that or... Well, you can't, but maybe y'all can. There is the model number thing on the back. So, yeah, this is a very nice unit. Thank you very much. Uh, very clean. Well, you know clean considering it still needs to be cleaned but you put this back on here the uh, little catches right here go into little catches there okay so you just get them in there and just gently snick it back in place and it gets to be powered again by this units but 
when it's not connected, it's powered by the five AA batteries, then you go through the line in patch cord to patch the patch through here, and or you could play it. Uh, that's the only way you can play it. Yeah, so it doesn't have a headphone jack, it just has line out on this. I thought it had a headphone jack, but I'm mistaken. Well, here, let's, let me look at that again. Let's see here. So, yeah, there's no headphone jack. It's got a, it's got a tuning switch. Don't know what that is, but, uh, okay. So, yee-ho. And, of course, these, you know, con contacts need to be cleaned with that one there, but you know how it works. Great, fabulous. All right, so let's see here. I already took the this camera down. Let's make sure I'm under 16 minutes for it. Okay, so so 16 minutes, but it's going to break off. So that's what it looks like. Good day, bye bye. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Um, that's all I know. Good day, bye bye. I don't want to break into two files. It's going to go right about now. Bye bye.